Okay. All right. Now we should be good. Sorry about that, folks. I just did a false start. But welcome back to Friday Night Frights. Now with a microphone. <laughs> I was just gabbing away without a microphone. That's the first time I ever forgot to set up my mic. Wow. I must be slipping today. Welcome, welcome back to Friday Night Frights. Episode 4 of Lost in Vivo. This should be the last episode today because I think we're going to finish the game today. So, cool beans to that. Those who were hanging out with me at the beginning of last week know that I was kind of thinking that might be the last episode. Then I got a second wind. We had some friends pop in. Good times. So, we're going to try and get through this thing. Remember where we're at. Remember how to play. All that good stuff. But yeah, hope everybody's... Um, having a good weekend so far i mean it's the beginning of it maybe you had a chance to check out wandavision i just watched that not too long ago it was great a huge reveal at the end of the episode that pretty much confirmed my suspicions about a particular character i will say no more in case you haven't seen it uh but we'll definitely be talking about it when we record the podcast tomorrow and if those are interested if anybody's interested i'll be uh We'll be dropping that on Sunday as usual. Okay. I don't know what that does, but I always do it, just in case. I get strong Resident Evil vibes from, um... Do I still not have a map? I feel like I had a map of this area. Maybe when I had to reload the game, I lost the map, and I should have looked for it again. Oh well. I might look for the map again when we get a chance. I feel like my chances of survival are pretty slim without a map, unfortunately, but what does this say? Oh, we read this last week. Okay. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, this thing's gonna talk to me. Hi. What are you hoping to accomplish? I'd like to without finish me, this game you're and get the hollow. good ending. You're pathetic. You need fear to motivate you. Okay. Alright. That's fair. That's my mic picking up. It's picking up pretty good. Alright, so do I need to shoot you? or? Yeah. Alright. Let me reload. Alright. Now there should be a big monster that comes after us. Oh! Oh, okay. I think that's supposed to happen. It's like a vision. That scared me there for a second. I should probably turn this down a little bit. It came up like super quick. Okay, there, there's the monster that, that comes out. So that thing's going to be coming after me pretty soon. I need to try to get out of here. If I remember correctly though, like the door was locked or whatever. I couldn't even get out. Okay, it's probably, it's probably down that way. Maybe I could electrocute him when he comes through here again. Let's wait for him. Ah, there we go. Yeah! Fuck you! Oh, cool. We did it. So that's what we needed to do last time, I think. I put two and two together there. Wow, the answer was so easy, I almost feel dumb for not immediately figuring it out last week. Anyways, there's got to be a map around here, though. Maybe it's in this room. Could be. What's this say? If power goes out on the tracks, you have to reboot the whole system. Yeah, this is that old note that we had. Um, I don't see a map. Is it in here, maybe? Might be in here. <gasps> yeah, here it is. Okay. Now we have a map. We should go save since we got the monster in that other area. Hopefully they don't place monsters like near the save area like they did last time. That was LeMay. Alright. Okay. There we go. Let's check the map. Okay. So we got the little 
flamey symbol. Maybe the monster is going to chase us around everywhere. Because that G on the map kind of looks like the position where the electricity was. Maybe? I don't know. Let's try... Let's try going right this time. Okay. So it goes straight. The flame should be like right inside the area here. The fact that it's so close worries me. Like we're not going to be able to get back through. Should be in the next room. Ooh, Spooky Stories for Kids, Volume 2. Once there lived a nice man with his nice old dog. The nice man was content, just him and his dog, watching the years pass by. His house was old and deep in the woods with a little blue patch of sky. One night, the nice man was walking his dog, as was his nightly habit. But then the dog got out of his leash to quickly chase after a rabbit. The night sky was dark, just barely lit, so the nice man filled his, was filled with worry. But then the old dog yelped and ran inside as if it was in a hurry. The nice man went inside and locked up, his worries for now put to bed. But then out of the window he saw his old dog, but its skin had been shed. Yikes. Okay, what's inside with the old man? Why is this dog skin? Creepy stuff. So there's the other one. It's just looking at me. What'd this do? I don't need to flood the drain room. I might eventually need to flood the... It's blocked? Okay. Do you think you're getting better? Does doing this even have a purpose? So is this like the therapist? have another scene where something gets sicked after me. Oh. 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 I can't turn or anything. I can just run forward. Press space. I'm a doggy! Bark, bark. Oh, how do you... Well, that's weird. I can't control the camera. I have to turn with the directional buttons. That's really weird. Also, why is my camera so high if I'm the dog? Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on. That sounded like it was coming from behind. There we go. What horrors has this dog seen? My goodness, man. Oh, hey! What's up, man? Yeah, I think so. I took care of that big monster from last week. I just electrocuted him. Um, So we're in the second area. I just shot the therapist lump of flesh thing again, and now I'm playing as the dog? A really tall dog? It's awkward because I can't control the camera with my mouse. For some reason, they're making me use the directional pad, their directional buttons. Oh, okay. Oh, sounds like it's coming from the left. Okay. looks a lot like the very first area of the game. I had to uh, fight this poor homeless guy without any eyes. Said he was being attacked by some kind of monster. Oh! Okay. That's creepy. 
Uh oh. Um. Flood the drain room? No. Maybe I should. Okay. I'm guessing that it wants me to. Do this? No. Okay. Jeez, I hope I didn't just kill my dog. That'd be terrible. Looks like it turned into a monster, though. Okay. Uh, map. So it'd be left to go back. All right, let's go back and save. Ah. It's like, why can't I reload? All right, so I went up and I went down, so I guess I just got to go across now and then go south as much as I can to get to the last one. Okay, all right, sounds good. Let's roll. Things are getting a little wonky, a little crooked. Yeah, seems like it. Alright. I don't know if it's a hard and fast rule, but it seems like monsters don't show up or a challenge doesn't show up until I interact with the talking lump of flesh. Oh, speak of the devil. Let me read this real quick. Probably Spooky Stories for Kids Volume 3. Yep. Once there lived a great old beast in a great old wood. The great old beast would attack the town and carry young children away. It screamed and it howled from inside the woods each night and every day. So one night the townsfolk hatched a plan to stay the beast once and for all. They snuck up close while it slept under a tree, and then they made it fall. It growled and hissed, not moving an inch since the falling tree had it held it down. The warriors fought and stabbed the old beast to finally save the town. But the stories go that if you visit the woods that under a great fallen oak, the great old beast isn't dead at all. He just still hasn't woke. Okay. Not as creepy as the last story. Hello! I'm your identity. I'm your crutch. Okay. You used to cling to me like a parasite. I know you better than anyone, and I know you're weak. You'll come right back. Okay. Bye! Then we should get a vision of some monster coming after us, or some weird shit happen. Why can't I run? Okay, there I go. Oh god. Ah, ah, run! Why why won't you run? Why won't you run? Why won't you run? I can't run. There we go. That was weird. Gotta go. Oh shit, I'm str Oh god! Ah. 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 Alright, I gotta find the electricity thingy. I don't remember where it is on the map, but it's somewhere. I just gotta find it. Ah, what is this? Use it, use it, use it. Oh god. Ah, it's coming. It's coming. It's so mad. corner myself. Hey there. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go this way. Oh man. 
I have no time to check the map, but I'm pretty sure I need to... Oh, God. I need to check the map. Um, let's try going this way. Alright, okay. There's a closed door. Shit, trap myself in this room. Excuse me. Ow. Okay, maybe if I what to do here. I'll try to go to the right. Ooh, the heat. Okay, this door. Okay, does it ever close? Oh, there we go. Ah! Okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just gotta get the door to crush him. Here I can get to crush him. Oh. Well. Can he come through? Hmm. Seems like he's probably just gonna go around. Yep. Great. Oh, he's got like mouths for eyes. That's cute. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Um I gotta time it so it drops on him, I think. Maybe I'm just gonna have to be like a fleshy meat bag that he bangs on for a second. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for a hot second before I hit the button this time so we can catch up and get crushed. Yep. Yes! No! No! Bad monster! Damn it! There's gotta be something else I can do. We should look around, I guess. Because that's not working. He's strong. We'll just lift the door up. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is just a loop around in a circle here. Oh, oh, I pressed the wrong button for move. Okay, no big deal. Um, let me just risk a look at the map. Okay. Come on, come on. There you go. That would be one criticism I have of the of the game. It's a little touch and go with the move forward and run controls. Oh, okay. Oh, it's still closed locked. Just like it was blocked last time. Like, I, I clearly need to do something with this monster, but I can't seem to crush its stupid face, so I don't know what to do. What's this? I don't remember these lights being that bright. That probably doesn't mean anything. Oh, God!
me just, uh... Oh, there we go. I did have to trap him enough times. Yeah, stupid face. Uh, what's trying to pop out of his face? Oh, that's gross. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Any other babies? You got face babies? Let's get in there. Where's your face babies at? Ooh, that's nasty. All right, let's go. I just wasted all my ammo. But I think I had to damage him somehow. Either that or just keep getting him trapped. Mm. Whatever, we win. Yay. <laughs> giving me more ammo. Thank you for that. I definitely need it. Okay. Let's save real quick and then we'll take a look at the map. So, we took it out. We've taken out the three areas here in the map. So, now what? I wonder. Let's try going back through that room again. That looks modern. Maybe it's unlocked now. It makes sense because they put the note up that has... Yep, there we go. This is completely different. my dog barking. Oh well. Let's keep him moving. What's in here? Oh. Sounds like there's a dog in here. I'm coming, doggo. I'm gonna come and save you. Oh, the enemy with the mouse for eyes? Yeah, what does it say on the wiki page? Oh, uh. Hmm. I can't go that way. Or this way. There we go. Won't let me get out of here. It's weird. Okay. Come on. Okay, that's not working. Alright. Guess we're turning around. Uh, I don't know if it did or not. I don't recall reading something about the siren. Most of the notes in that area were just about like scary stories for kids, little little rhymes. I don't think any of them mentioned a siren. I could be wrong though. I haven't read the first note since last week. Ooh, nasty bugs. Yeah, that was the third time I defeated it. That's why its head exploded and a little thing came out. Oh, God. Get out of here with your, your bug face. This is nasty. Big roaches. Big roaches. Uh-oh. Bleeding from the face. That's not a good sign. Come here, Bugo. Oh, man, he's fast. Oh. 
third and final then yeah yeah i could i could tell the um, the layout of those rooms was very ah very similar to a part in the beginning of the game where you're in this i died damn it got killed by bugs that's dumb it was very similar to the beginning of the game when you're in this um this like subway area and you have to get three circuit boxes working so you can get electricity turned on in the subway and kind of move to the next area. And each time that you got a circuit box working um, in a particular area, and there was three of them, ghosts would start to chase you. And they kind of littered the area with ghost stories so you know what you were dealing with. And um, there was a note that talked about how to like get the power back on it was the same note that was in a room that was beyond this door when this door would lead to a different room and if you look at the map well well the map from before hold on i'm really close i'll just go back no i can't okay anyways the map from before showed three areas with three locations very similar so i feel like it was just kind of like a mirror of that original part of the game which is kind of a cool callback, because it was at the very beginning of the game when that happened. Uh, okay. Yeah, the eyeless hobo. Yeah. Yeah, I read about him when I was looking up tags for the game. There was notes about that, too. He used to put rotting meat and different food and stuff in this old broken TV he had, and then critters would come and... What the... What was that? That was weird. I thought I saw something in the corner of my screen. Anyways, um... Yeah, he put stuff in this old TV and critters would come and eat, but then he said there's a monster that would come too. And then eventually the monster took his eyes. Hello! Excuse me, friend. A little shaky guy in there. Barely see him. Sure, we'll get to play later on. If I can get past all these bugs. Speaking of which, I'm going to switch to my knife. It seems to be pretty effective. Alright. No matter which way I go, I can't escape these stupid tunnels. Uh, is he barking? No. We're bugs. I think we're on the right track. Oh. Ugh. This is new. It says, look. I'm looking. Is that it? I don't get it, but okay. big bug around the corner here. Oh, well. What was last time? There he is. Hello, friend. They're so fast. Alright, how much did that one hit? Give Okay, nine points. Alright. I replenish health, albeit super slowly, so I need to be careful and not take too many hits from these bugs like last time. I think the moderately sized ones are deadly, just the big, big ones. Or what they say in England, the big fuck off bugs. Uh, or is it Australia? Oh, these actually look like normal size for Australian cockroaches, I bet. They're so fast and hungry. All right, how are we doing on health? 76. Could be worse. Could be better. Could be worse. Check your corners. Okay. We're doing okay. Oh, good. 
hit you from around the corner there. Oh, 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 he's quick. How are we doing? 74. Okay. Means we gained some health back and then lost some. This little guy. Guys are speedrun killers, that's what they are. Uh, okay. Alright, it's gotta be around this corner. Okay, are we out of here? Oh, I think we're out of here. Finally. Let's go. Oh, and a save room too. Wonderful. We need ammo. Alright, let's get this bad boy saved. Alright. Which else in the room? I guess we'll just go forward. Hello, friend. Oh. You guys are bloody. Oh, they're throwing up on me. I'm probably dying. Let's see, how am I doing? Oh, no, no. That didn't damage me. Okay. Gross. Gross. Oh, there's our friend the siren. Or at least he was in there. Sheesh. Did you lock the door? Um, no? Also, yes? Oh, God. What was that sound? Now I lock the door. Let me go tell him yes. Did you? Oh, no. It's not asking me anymore. Ooh, that's nasty. I don't know what that is. Fleshy bits. Whoa! Hi! Uh oh. There more? There's more. I'm just gonna go back. Ah, oh, jeez, they're fast when they wanna be. Hello! Oh, jeez. Okay. Any more? Oh, there's one more. Let me get up in there since you seem preoccupied. There you go. We good? I think we're good now. Oh, what's this? A room? Can we go in here? No. We cannot. Okay. Well, nothing to see here, just meat blades. Swinging the meat, you know, as you do. Oh, I hear it again. Where's it at? There's our friend. It's Ruger time! There's no one around the corner. Yep. Oh, there you are. Going back up just a little bit. Okay. I thought you'd come around the corner. Oh, there's two of you. Okay. Whew. All right. Stay alive. How about it? Okay. Ah, uh, more. This one's aggressive. Oh, I can't see. That's how you get me. Okay, I can't go that way. I guess I could... I have a sledgehammer. 
I'm not saying it's going to work, but worth a shot. these things oh no mm -mm. um crap let me try shooting one see what happens nothing okay fair enough uh just gonna oh i'm just gonna walk right through oh e gross well sheesh Try again. Bingo. Do I have a map of this area? I do not. Oh. Creepy tree. I'm going to leave that be for now. Go try this other room. Mm. There's a door, but it's like... It's like up here, and I don't have a jump button. So, yeah, tree it is. Hello, tree! It wants something. But I don't think I have it. Okay. Well, there were other ways we could have gone back there, so we'll just we'll head back and uh, go back through the creepy, tentacle, fleshy room and uh, try the other door, I guess. Freshly dug graves. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Before we answer the message. There you are. I see you. Oh, it's one of those bent over ones. Let's save our ammo. Got you. There's another one around here somewhere. This is actually, uh, the knife's pretty effective. One shot. Oh, oh there goes one. Oh, it's not effective, though, when they're coming at you. doing health we're doing really bad i'm gonna head back i think and investigate some of the parts of the room i skipped while my health heals there was a note back there by the graves we should probably check that here we go uh the text is illegible is it though because it looks like it's legible here it lay upon thy branches dangling there a sick reminder of what i rejected the smug dead face stares at me almost grinning it seems like it's happy to be without me inhabiting it okay is there anything in the graves nope okay how's my health looking better all right Let's go, uh, stab some bugs.
Okay. I think it's around the left. Ah! Okay. Thank you for the musical cues. And we're whiting out. All right. Open. Oh, then we just get to a door. Huh. What happens if I, I have to go forward? Of course I do. Oh! <gasps> Doggo! And you're not a crazy monster! Can't be this easy. Alright. Well, I guess we... Oh, wait, no. Widen out again. Lost in vivo. The good end. What? You escape the confines of the sewer and reunite with your old dog. You feel that your experience has changed who you are and that the barriers of life that once restricted and intimidated you have now fallen away. You've been to hell and back, confronted your fears, and gotten stronger. What about the tree? What about the tree? <laughs> you know what's interesting? I was looking at the, uh, the trophies for the game, and it looks like a higher percentage of people got the good ending. So it seems really difficult to get the bad ending, which makes you wonder, like, what do you got to do and what it, what it is. Mr. Craven handled the dog. The dog's name is Danny. Backup dogs, Roxy and Angie. The talking brain. Okay, these seem like legit credits, so I think we did it. $5,305 to fund this project. Look at all these great people. Well, I guess that was Lost in Vivo. Yeah, screw the tree. Maybe the tree is connected to a different ending somehow, or maybe you you can be tricked into doing... I don't Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. Look how fast you can make them names go. Thanks for playing. Wake up, you're in a coma. Yeah, I could totally see that. And it's awesome what happens when you give a, a creative person some money, too. Like, I'm glad that everybody believed in Spookies enough and really liked it enough to give Akuma more money, because um, they did great stuff with it. Mercis tapes? What's this? The Wolf. Examine, play, exam. Lost tape number five. Oh, here, uh, uh, howls and screams echo through the twisted old branches of overgrown campground. A history of unresolved violence keeps many away from this place, but regardless, you find yourself trapped here. Something sinister is stalking through the woods. You seek to escape. Okay. Um, let's play a tape. We got some extra time. I usually go for at least an hour on Friday night, so... I have to escape. Uh, Wolf Hollow Campground. Gotta go. Very cool. There's the... Well, I think the easiest way to escape, get in the car. I need the key. Damn it. Alright. Well, I guess... Oh, campsite. Oh, I'm really short. Look how I stack up against this table. I must be a kid. Wishish. Matches. Okay. You crouch down here. You got any supplies in these tents? No. Got some Pepsi. More of a Coke guy myself. Oh, light fire. Is that really? Can I? Okay, I can. Is that, uh... Is that good? I don't know. 
we're going to head down the spooky road. The trail. Got to find the key. Either I'm short or these benches are really, really big. Could go either way. Boy, sheesh. More matches? Locked box picked up. Can I pick up the shovel? No. Where I hear the... Oh, there it goes. The wolf is near. Yikes. Oh, what was that? Something over there, too. How do I get over there? Huh. Uh... It's weird. This, there's a bit of a barrier. I can't really... Hmm. There are six tapes. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's four in the actual game. And I just got this fifth one from the extra. Maybe I unlock the sixth tape if I finish this tape. Let's look at my inventory here. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, well, I picked up a lockbox. Maybe I can... Let me interact with the fire again. Burn box. There we go. Pick up. It's too hot. Damn it. If only there was some sort of source of water abundantly pouring from a place that could put this fire out. Uh, what can I grab? There is some drink over here. Maybe I can... Maybe let me grab that. Grab a drink? No? Well, too hot. I don't remember picking anything else up. Um, let me head back this way again. The wolf is near. Yep. Okay. The run seems to work very conditionally. Maybe I have a invisible stamina system. Uh. Okay. There's gotta be something around here I can pick up. One of these cans, maybe. No. No. Try going into the tents again. I didn't go in this tent, but this one looks really small. Oh, oh it won't let me go in there. Okay. I'm a bit stumped about what to do in this situation. Um, I can't escape on foot. The hell I can't. Let's go. Guess if I'm dealing with a wolf, that would not be a smart idea. It's also probably not just great pick up. It's too hot. Maybe, again, if I had an inventory to work with, I'd say maybe I'll try this or that. I don't even have anything to pick up. Okay, I'm going to try. Okay, there was another interactable over by the um, where I first got the box. Maybe there's a hidden way to get over there that I didn't see, and that's what I need to do. So I just need to look around. Because if you look through the grass here, you can actually see that red area. So I just got to find a place that opens up that lets me to, over to the side, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Try, like, 
walking along here. You said you found the way. Is it really obvious? Am I going to feel dumb? Uh, right. ah, damn, I can't get through there. Something about a well. Well? I don't see a well. Let's look around. Does that thing over here look like a well or just another grave? That's no, just another grave. Creepy tree. Let's look around for a well then. I really didn't see one, but that would be a way to collect some water and put out the fire for sure. So far all I saw was that grave, those fresh graves. And you got these tents over here. And then you got this lame joke. Man, this game is intense. And then you got the fire. And all is not well in the state of tape number five. Let's just keep looking, though. Maybe there's something over here by the car? Okay, that's, that's going to tell me I can't get out on foot. Wait, well, maybe not unless I examine it. There's the car. There's the sign. Yeah, there's no well. Um, hold on. Oh, there's two. Oh, I'm so dumb. There's two ways. Okay, I just saw it. I don't know why I didn't see the other path. Oh my god. Did you just see that? Okay, hold on. I swear I saw like something run across there. That was really creepy. There's the well. Pick up. What is this? Muddy rag. Cool. Turn? What's this say? Yeah, the rag. Yeah, I'll probably soak the rag in water, maybe? I don't know. What do you say? It preys on us. This is where you go, poopies. Open, shut. Okay. Maybe I can hide from the wolf in here if it, like, comes after me or whatever. I'll remember that place. Alright, let's try turning. It's difficult to turn. Something heavy is on the rope. Okay. Alright, well... Yeah, maybe we can go back and just use the rack that we have. So, I'll give that a shot. can't believe I missed this road. But, I mean, that's why you gotta do perimeter runs. Got to walk all the way around the boundary sometimes. Yeah, boy. Give me that key. We gotta go. Don't kill me, wolf. Please don't kill me, wolf. Yes. We are in there. Um. Oh, here we go. Boom. Nobody cares about your gates. We got radio? No. It's too bad. Can't really steer so much as just kind of bounce along the trees. See anybody behind us in the rear view? That's good. Just bumper car in it all the way home. We got side views. Yep. It's just completely pitch black dark. There goes the crazy moon. I like the uh, the pixel kind of water hitting the windshield effect. That's neat. What's happening? Uh-oh. Oh, we're out of gas. Yo. That's not great. 
Um. Oh. Oh no. Hello, sir. Put this in reverse, please. Please get out. Get out. Oh. Can't turn. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. Knocked over my truck. Oh. Well, that's the end of tape five, I bet. Oh, wait, no, it's not. We gotta go. We should not have come here. Yeah, no shit. Okay, we got a house. It's great. We don't have a door. Hey, this looks very similar to uh, the house from tape three or four. I think it was tape four. But all graffitied up and no front door. When I've played with the tape so far, it doesn't seem to be any way to. Is this some sort of meat? There doesn't seem to be any way to fail the tapes. It's just more about figuring out how to get to the end of them. Which is fine. Okay. That was the plate. Yeah, okay. I think I'm starting to remember the layout of this house from the other tape. This is the first time I've revisited a place from a previous tape, though. That's interesting. Somebody's burning cassettes. able to turn on turn on one time and it won't let me turn it on again. Weird. Oh, here's the weird worship slash altar area. Always good to find in a house. I began with bark to be its base. I used its own flesh to hold it in place. I used some sticks to act as nails then dead face and limbs to add details. It pulled me in to become a ring. I woke unhuman. I began a worshiping. Hello? Huh? Well, now what? Do we do? I feel like I'm gonna run around the corner and the wolf's gonna be looking at me like, hey! Like tape three was. Was it tape three? Yeah. I can't remember if it was tape three or four. That uh, I don't let me turn that on anymore. Got some sticks. All right. So maybe I have to follow the note. What did the note say again? Something about... Probably have to put everything into that piece of flesh, I bet. Uh, let's see. Four was the hotel. You're right. Now I remember. Pick up. Picked up the tree flesh. Tree flesh. Okay. It says something about a ring. What's that? Oh, okay. Nothing. I might have to consult the note again, because I don't remember all the stuff that we're looking for, but on my way up to the room, I'll look around again, see if I can see anything. Oh, 
Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go. Ah, damn it. There we go. Go back up. And assemble. Maybe not. Let me do it again. Bark for the base. So, its own flesh to hold it in place. We have the tree flesh. Sticks to act as nails. Then, dead face and limbs. Dead face and limbs. Okay. Um, I don't remember seeing anything like that, but we'll, we'll look around inside and outside, see what we find. I feel like more stuff's going to be interactable now that we know what we're looking for. Nothing here. No. No. Okay. Let's go back outside. Oh, wait. Tree bark. Now we got the bark, we got the flesh, we got the nails. We need the limbs. Probably going back out to the crash site, I guess. Hopefully I don't get attacked by the wolf out there. Like I said, I've never failed a tape. I think it's more like solving light puzzles or navigating to get to the scare. Rather than failing. If you don't... Okay. Oh, okay. If it's just that, I think I have everything. So we'll go back up and try to assemble the idol at the uh, the altar. If it's just the three things. It's just the note mentioned limbs. So I wonder what that's going to turn out to be. Hopefully not my limbs. Place bark. Place flesh. Place sticks. Examine. A dead face? We need a dead face. Three parts sit collection sit yeah, fair enough. Okay. Alright, Kira, where's your dead face at? It sounds like it's raining. Oh, there's blood. Let's see what the blood leads to. Maybe a dead face. Just kind of gross. Oh, sheesh. Got a crow. Is that what we want? Guess so. All right. Let's head back. Yeah, rule of threes seems to uh, seems to be the thing in a lot of instances. head up and put the crow on our pagan altar thingy here. Oh, 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 oh. Examine. It. It's complete. Great. Oh. Can't move. I see hooded figures coming out of the... Alright. Ooh, that one's wearing red. They must be important. They got the sun. Everybody else got the moon. Is that a baby? Oh, no. Not the baby. Okay, then. Hmm. 
Mom, Dad, any breakfast, toast, cornflakes? Oh, okay. Okay, those are all the old, older lost tapes. Horses tapes. Maybe... Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a few of them. Coming soon. Oh, maybe there's not. Maybe there's just, like you said, six. The Way Out. Uh, by Mr. McRaven. You don't count the days anymore. The light that you occasionally see from the window. The breeze you can sometimes feel. Those are gone. You've been offered a way out. Will you take it? Hmm. Alright. Alright, let's do this last tape. And then we'll call it a wrap. Because we'll have seen pretty much everything there is to see. Aside from the other endings, which... I encourage folks to play. It's been fun. Got a note. How long has it been keeping us here? I can't remember anymore. We can't keep doing this. I think I found it. The way out. Crouch around and look. Might be nine total. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw other notes, but they are all other cassettes, and they said coming soon. So it could just be planned future, like, you know, a future update, DLC, that type of thing. Yeah. Hello. door is blocked by heaps of rotting meat. That it is. Why don't you come in? I don't bite. I'm good. What? Okay. That's fair. Let me try this open door over here. Just the other friend that left me the note, maybe. All right, let's go out. Uh oh. Ew, what's this thing? Something I gotta run from? Hello, friend. Find them. It's mo meat. Oh no. I'm good. Um e let's talk to it. Maybe it won't hurt us. Hello meat. Alright then. Just gonna turn my back on that increasingly freaky situation. Uh well. I found them. They're a pile of meat. Okay. Maybe, maybe there's a way on the side here. No. 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 I don't know what to do. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll put these on YouTube like I usually do if you want to come back and watch the rest later. Uh, or just buy the game. I think it's worth it, certainly. I know you haven't had a chance to check it out, so. Uh, okay. Oh, that went in store.
sounds kind of ramping up as we go. Just one of those infinite hallway situations. Should I head back? Yep. Totes. Okay. It's locked. This, this looks different. Yeah, take. Is it still infinite, though? Okay. Maybe it'll let me leave now that I grab that item. Nope. Taking the drugs while I'm in the store? That's no bueno. Okay, I just gotta look around for something that looks a little bit bright. It's, it sucks because this flashlight is like way too strong. So it's hard for me to see. Oh, here we go. Also, uh, my vision's getting a tad blurry. So that's not great. Jeez. Here we go. Choose a good one. Okay, there's another door over here. Was this always open or ready, avail like available? I don't know. I feel like it wasn't. Oh, man. Oh. Am I able to... Okay, it's just dark. Oh. Oh. Nooses. More like deuces. Am I right? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, gonna hang myself. Ooh. Just the one now? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going through the deaths of the people, like this purgatory. The first was an overdose. This, the person commits suicide. So when I go forward, one of these cages will tear it open. Oh, 
what that means exactly, but okay. Go in this one. It's about a person to be cutting themselves. Serious trauma we're exploring tonight. Looks like we have to crawl if we want to go through. Yeah, knife. There indeed. Welcome home. Okay. This last tape is freaky. Oh, I can kind of see in there, though. It's like a mask on the... Can't tell if that's clothes or more masks. Not here. Something in the closet? Can't tell. It just looks like more clothes. Where did it go? Don't oh. Is there another no? Okay. Alright. Check. Uh oh. What are we checking? I need it. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Closet open. Slide. All right. Still have some freaky stuff here. Oh, the gun. All right. Let's see if I can get on here like I'm supposed to. Oh no! I lock myself out of. I think I was supposed to go up on it, but... Ugh, no, I think I screwed this up. Ah, oh, that sucks. Ugh. Maybe I can try to... F oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, we figured it out, sort of. Okay, got the gun. I need to. Oh, I'm trapped in the closet. Uh oh. Something's in the room with me. A oh, monster. This time. No more new hallways. I'll go face the music here, I guess. Hello, sack of meat friend. How are you? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh 
here. Can't get away from it either. giving it pills, I'm cutting it, then I'll shoot it probably. Yep. Let's see. Okay, well, that was Lost in Vivo plus the extra tapes. Uh, thanks for those who decided to join me. Check me out. Appreciate you. Next week we'll have a brand new horror game ready. I'm not really sure what it'll be right now. I might do some research, maybe find some more fun ones to do on PC. Just because that seems to be a domain where I haven't really explored a whole lot. And uh, we've done a ton of console horror games already, so... Why not, you know, explore some more indies before we get into Resident Evil Village this year? So, yeah, we'll uh, see you on Monday for Monday Night Brawl. And don't forget, a new episode of the podcast is dropping on Sunday, as usual. It'll be a great episode. We've got a lot to talk about. So, hope you'll join me for that as well. Have a good one. Bye-bye.